I was here last night, and seriously, like 9.15, the whole city shut down. I was like, what the? I was like, did a bomb go off? What's happening? I mean, do you, do you guys do anything after 9.15? I know what they do. I'm talking about everybody else. <laughs> Let's go home and read our Bibles. What did you say? Walmart. Yes, I noticed that was open. That's awkward. <laughs> I drove down to the other side of the bridge. I was like, this is too far. I need to turn back around. <laughs> Because it was like after that Walmart, there was nothing else. <laughs> Go at your own risk, brother man. <laughs> but I think, again, I think we're all the same. And I think what it needs to happen is we need to stop calling ourselves colors. I think that needs to be the first thing. So from this day forward, if you look at me, I'm going to tell you why I want to be called what I would like to be called. Because I seriously have a soft caramel skin tone. <laughs> oh, that's right, ladies, call me caramel. You know what that means? That means I'm not only attractive, but I'm also edible. Yeah, yeah. And I'm filled with rich, creamy nougat. Uh, if you didn't get that joke, you might be dating a unicorn, straight up. I, you, you might want to date human beings and find out what nougat is. And, you know, people, I catch people off guard sometimes because they always expect, you know, caramel people to use profanity. I was like, no, I went to college. Got two degrees, English and political science. Yeah, from Loyola University of Chicago. Jesuit institution. Privately paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm in Port Charlotte, Florida. How sweet is that, you know? <laughs> I think I could have done this with a GED, is all I'm saying. I, 